Raoul Ostale, welcome to Egypt. I, I will not say welcome to Egypt because you have been here for like two years, as you told me. Yes. But we are so glad to have you at Yalla Kura. Shukran giddan. Sabah khair. Yeah, sabah <laughs> noor. <laughs> it's a pleasure to, to be here in, uh, in Yalla Kura and it's uh, obviously a pleasure to be here in Egypt as well. Yeah, we are too. What's your role uh, at La Liga in Egypt? La Liga went to a process of um, international exp expansion in the last um, six years. Uh, we develop a series of international offices. Uh, here the closest one is in Dubai, it's the office for the, the whole MENA region. And as well, they send uh, around 40 um, people as the international branch of La Liga, which are the delegates of La Liga all over the world. And me, myself, I'm the delegate here in Egypt. I'm based in, in Cairo. Yeah. Uh, I live here in, in Samalek. So, <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> um, I'm taking care as well um, from Sudan and Libya. So my role basically is to increase um, the brand's value uh, in the region and of course to engage with new audiences and as well to help. The social media now is, I think it's a very strong uh, tool to be able to, uh, to be in the market. So what do you, how do you see that the, the, now the clubs are uh, targeting the Middle East? Definitely the, the um, change that we have seen in how the people consume the content in the last 10 years and the last five years it's amazing. Uh, people now, of course, they watch live matches, but of course, they consume a lot of content through through social media, through all yeah. the platforms. Okay. And there is all different sorts of consuming. Uh, especially in the Middle East. Right? Especially in the Middle East, uh, the, the the growth of social media since I've been here, two years only. Yeah. It's incredible, especially platforms like TikTok among the Gen Z yeah. uh, population and, and Instagram and Facebook keeps super yeah. strong. So uh, I think it's one key strategy for the clubs and, and for a, a sports property as La Liga to, to bet. Yeah, in this case, I think clubs like Celta, for instance, that they, they are uh, these days here in, in Egypt, they are committed to, to, to this goal and they really want to engage with their fans and with new audiences through social media, not only by um, using their regular ways of communicate, but also using local talents. Yes. Um, content creators coming here to, to a top sports media as Yalakora to, to try to generate this new audience and this new engagement model. So I think it's uh, a key piece of the, of the growth of the clubs, the social media, yeah. Uh, do you think that La Liga has uh, fans here in Egypt? Well, it's not that I think. <laughs> I know that. I yeah, know that's that. what I, I know that. wanted to uh, hear from you. Um, no, we are, we, are, lot, huh? we are very lucky. I think um, generally in Middle East, um, Spanish culture and especially Spanish sports and football in this case is the king of sports is very well known. Uh, we have two uh, super big clubs that are Madrid and Barcelona, that are the two um, transatlantics that uh, are, are making the, the brand um, growing. But of course, we have uh, another 42, 40, 40 clubs out of the 42 that yeah. compose La Liga that, that um, for me, I'm, I'm always excited when I'm talking about clubs like Celta de Vigo, Real Betis, Sevilla, knowing how passionate the uh, Arabic people are about yes. football, I know if they can uh, somehow engage with these clubs. Yeah, and I think Celta Vigo also has many fans here because of, yes. the, of Ahmed Hossein Mido playing Mido. there. Definitely, and it's one of the first things they, they told me, you know, when I'm saying that yeah. uh, I'm working in La Liga and I'm La in La Liga here in Egypt, they say, ah, Mido was playing there, so yeah. it's been almost 20 years since he yeah. since he played but people still, still remember, uh, him. remember him and, and actually the impact that he had from the from the other side now in, in Spain he's a very well known uh, player he has a strong personality he was uh, he was fantastic the, the eight matches he had yeah. he scored four goals so yeah, he was fantastic so. and so we can say that Midu uh, at Celta Viga was like Salah at Liverpool back in the day definitely at the end it was the well the first Egyptian player playing in in, the in Celta de Vigo and also in La Liga of course it was an open door for for connecting these two uh, countries yes. no so but why there is no uh, Egyptian players playing in La Liga? This is uh, yani, uh, something strange that only Hossem uh, Amidou was the only player. Well, now we have a, a female football player playing in, uh, in Albacete, in the female league. Sarah? Uh, Sarah, Sarah, yes, Sarah Sam, she was, yes, she was yeah. in, in England. <laughs> what I'm sure, I don't know the reason, to be okay. honest, but, but what I'm sure is that um, sooner or later this is going to happen. At the end, Egypt is a, a, a country that is one of the craziest countries about football yeah. that I have ever seen only compared probably with uh, Latin America and Spain. Yes. So with 110 million population crazy about <laughs> football, you're going to be able to develop talents and you're going to be able to, to send 
uh, brought more talents in the in the next years, especially uh, having in mind that the Egyptian uh, national football is is developing, and I yes. think there are a lot of very good professionals within the whole industry, in all the teams and on all the uh, institutions, doing a great effort to, to to make this happen. So my belief is in the next years we will be able to see Egyptian, uh, players, Egyptian players in in La Liga. Do you watch the Egyptian football? Or not that I much. try, I try to be honest, but at the end I, I have to watch, of course, uh, yes. <laughs> a lot of football. And yeah. uh, but um, yeah. Do you know any teams here? Well, yeah, of course not. The, the teams I know uh, almost all in in the first and, and some of the second division. I have very good relations with the um, oh. with the um, business departments and yes. the marketing departments and so on. Uh, so yeah, well, I, I know the Egyptian food. I, I saw matches on, on live, so oh, okay. no, and Have I you really been to like the it. stadium to yeah, watch your yeah, matches? Yeah. There? Yeah. And uh, no, it's a fantastic football. You have some very well talented players. Can you it's name also a player you you well, like to watch? Um, Ciso, for instance, yes. is going to be one of the of the. Yeah. I like the two goalkeepers from Samalika and, and Ahli. Uh, yeah, they are fant and the fantastic. Um, I was also watching the national team during the uh, yeah. Afcon oh, and okay. uh, and well, of course, against the. Against Senegal, in the I'm very sad, by the way, yeah, that Egypt is, sad, is, is yeah. not is not there. To be honest, I want yeah. to to say that because well, well deserved, Danny. They did all the effort they could. To exactly, exactly. Yeah. No, no. And Senegal was also an, a fantastic team, no. But um, it will be great. This to, is football. To <laughs> this is football. Exactly. <laughs> Only one winner. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, you told me that uh, there is a co collaboration between La Liga and some uh, uh, Egyptian singers. Can you tell me about them? Well, we were collaborating. At the end, it's related to what we were saying no? about the content and about the social yeah. media. At the end. I believe that if we want to grow our fan base here in Egypt, we we really need to talk the language of the people that are yes. living in this country. So I understand Arabic. You told me you understand Arabic. More or less, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm, okay. I'm trying, and it's important that uh, I need to, to you know to understand as much as I can the culture. But because of that, I know that um, if I can collaborate with uh, local artists, um, not only singers but actors, football players, content creators that uh, they have passion about La Liga. Yeah, what names uh, did you uh, um, We Actually, with uh, Celta de Vigo, we were uh, with uh, Tasnim Lady. Okay. She's an awesome singer and composer. We recorded a video with her um, and two more uh, artists, one Sudanese uh, hip-hop singer, okay. which is called Afensi, and uh, Muhab, that is also from Egypt. Okay. All of them, they are super young, like 22, 21 wow. years old, but super talented. So we they have a lot of fans. <laughs> they have a lot For of sure, fans, and yeah. but they also like. So we recorded this music video, and it was a, uh, it was booming. Yeah. I thought it, it reached like two million views in, like wow. nothing. So after that, we decided to to take the chance with uh, with Tasnim and to invite her uh, with uh, with Celta de Vigo to Vigo to okay. see the Celta Real Madrid match. Yeah. And uh, well, it was fantastic. It, uh, the results for her and for the club yes. and, and for La Liga, they were amazing. So these kind of collaborations uh, will make you closer to, yeah, to the fans. I think so. Yeah, I think so. I really think so. So hopefully we will keep this this line. Yeah. yeah. What about the Spanish team? What's your expectation uh, during the uh, World Cup? My hope is that they win. <laughs> <laughs> but what you, you My expectation is that it's a it's a um, it's a very tough tournament, and I think. And the group is not easy. Huh? Well, the group is is definitely not easy. Uh, you have a Germany that four times what, <laughs> champion, four time champion, and, and they have a, a fantastic yeah, yeah. squad. And Japan is a team that uh, recently was beating the yes. U.S. Uh, so I think they are very talented players. And Costa Rica is a, a Latin team. Uh, yeah, they are so going to fight until the end. Yeah. They have killer now. They have proper players. So in these tournaments, it's never easy. Um, I think there are teams that are in a very top um, state of shape let's yes. say but hopefully we will we will go we will go far <laughs> <To> the finals <laughs> hopefully yes hopefully yes, yes. i hope so too. i hope so i think it's going to be a strong uh, world cup we are going to see so. 32 uh, i think so i think teams, so uh, the, the other day i was seeing uh, this um, kind of simulation and you know depending on who is uh, yes. winning how the the quarter finals and you were seeing some encounters that were like I'm excited to, to yeah. see this. So Watching 32 uh, teams. And we have a lot of La Liga players there, yes. by the way. So it's so, so important uh, for you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's a good representation. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to be happy seeing them. That's great. We're, thank you so much. And we are so happy to have you with us at uh, Yalla Cora. And thank hope you. to see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you.